We got ladders. We got a take all button. We got we got all sorts of new user interface changes. A creative mode with bugs. Uh, other stuff too. There's so much. Oh, and the ants. The ants can hatch in your backpack. So be careful because you don't want to get ants in your pants. And that's a shrunken survival pro tip, which enhances your survivability. What up? It's Tiny Power Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to be covering 10 of the biggest changes in the Grounded April Update 9.0 that just dropped. If you want to join into the public test server, it is live for the console players as well as the Steam players right now. But if you don't want to join that, it's okay, I understand. I lost some saves one time joining a public test server, so there's no harm, no foul. You can wait for the full update to be released. It should be coming out, I want to say, it's usually about a week after the public test server goes live, so probably sometime next week. The full update will drop, but if you want to know 10 of the biggest changes that are going to be coming with the 9.0 update, well then stay tuned. But before I get into the video, I just want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the videos here on Tiny Power Gaming, well then you could do me a huge favor and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more Grounded related content, well then I hope this video earns your subscription today, because that's what I do here, Grounded content. But let's get into the video. Number 10. There are bugs. There are bugs in Grounded in creative mode there haven't been bugs in creative mode now there is a creative mode with bugs you have to start a new creative mode if you want the creative mode with the bugs and there are bugs there you can explore around and the bugs will not aggro onto you i don't know if they can cause damage to structures i don't usually do much in creative mode so i really just made this save to show off that now there's bugs in creative so if you've always wanted bugs in creative you now have them and you can go on what i have heard people describe as a bug Safari. So enjoy your bug safaris in creative mode with bugs. Number 9. Multiplayer photo mode is now available. The photo mode from single player is now available in multiplayer. And if you're wondering how it works, well, the player who engages the photo mode pauses the world. The world pauses, everything pauses for all the players, and everyone goes into photo mode at the same time. So you can all take a different angle of the same thing and it'll be really cool and really fun to share with your friends. So enjoy it, have fun with it. And if you're not a public test server yet, well, it, it will be coming out with the full update of 9.0. So you have this to look forward to, awesome, amazing shots with all your friends. And if you're wondering where to post those shots, well, you can post them in the Grounded Discord or you can post them in the Tiny Power Gaming Discord where I like to see all sorts of cool Grounded pictures. So post your Grounded pictures there. The link is down in the description below. Number eight. In addition to the new photo mode, there are also four new poses, one for each specific character that is in the game. There is the Moodish Max, then there is the Wallowing Willow, and then there's the Heroic Hoops, and finally the Perilous Pete. So there are four new poses that you can take advantage of in the photo mode. And remember, the photo mode is now available or will be available in 9.0 in multiplayer. So once the full update drops, if you're not in the public test server now, when you get the full update, you will be able to take advantage of the new multiplayer photo mode and these four new super awesome, super amazing poses. Number seven. There were a few quality of life improvements in this new update. And one of those quality of life improvements is the user interface of the save load menu. Now each different world save will be organized within its own folder. It'll have a drop down menu. And from that drop down menu, you can choose to load any of your earlier saves. And the save at the top of the drop down menu will be your most recent save in each individual world. So if you have lots of different worlds, now they should be organized within your save menu uh, by each individual world with all the saves stacked within a collapsible menu. So that's a really nice user interface change that is meant to be a quality of life improvement for players who have a lot of different world saves. I happen to have a lot of different worlds, so I find it very useful. Number six. There were a number of changes to certain combat mechanics within the game. Not really anything too drastic, but now you will be able to cancel an attack animation by using the block, so that's really nice. Also, if you fight a stink bug, be prepared in 9.0, the stink bugs will have a new attack, and this is sort of a lunge belly flop attack, and they also release gas at the same time, so it's really a devastating attack, and as you're going to see, I, I died from it. I... Uh, 
You don't block this this super belly flop. You run away, is what I've learned. Anyway, um, but also they added new music. So if you have a low level threat like a mite or a, or a, I don't know a water flea or something like that, I guess it gets this new music. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking just for a few seconds and let you listen to the new low threat level combat music in Grounded 9.0. Number five. This isn't really a big one. This one is just if you're hauling grass planks or stems on your shoulder and you try to throw them and you're not in the public test server, what you will experience will be that only one of them will go in the right direction and all the rest will fly off in the awkward direction off your shoulder. Now in the public test server and in grounded update 9.0, once you can throw these or once you have a full stack on your shoulder you can throw them now and they will all with almost like laser pinpoint accuracy go to the spot that you wanted them to go and i think it's really great because i like to throw these things and if you don't know why i like to throw these things well then you should maybe if you like to watch grounded streamers consider following me over on twitch that's where i live stream and one of the channel challenges is you can make me fight wolf spiders with grass planks in mortal Kombat. you know that's one of the things you can make me do. I haven't won one of those, uh, honestly yet, but hopefully w now that I can throw my entire hall stack in the same direction, uh, I will maybe be able to beat a wolf spider with grass planks. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, let's go. Number four. The ants, the ants, okay? The ants are gonna get in your pants because the ant eggs hatch now. The ant eggs will hatch whether they're in your backpack, whether they're in a basket, whether they're in a crate, they will hatch, okay? So get ready for that. If you have a lot of ant eggs stored up and you go into 9.0 and you haven't done something with them, they're all gonna hatch and they're gonna invade your base. Now, I didn't have a lot of ant eggs to hatch for this and as you see, and I sat around and waited, I'm gonna speed this footage up. There you go, ants hatched. Then I sped it up a little bit more here because then they hatched out of my backpack. And there you go. I'm, I'm gonna slow it down for you so you can see the hatching process happen. Slow motion. But if you really truly want to see an ant hatching of epic proportions. Well then down in the description below of this video is a link to another Grounded Content Creator's video that is Rudar and he's an awesome Grounded Content Creator. He does streaming here on YouTube. Go check his channel out if you don't know about him already. And he caught them live in stream hatching all these ant eggs and he had so many of them right inside the base. So if you want to see an awesome video of tons of ants hatching, well then check the description of this video and follow that link and go ahead and smash the like button on that video. And if you haven't smashed this like button already, well then you'd be doing me a huge favor and I really appreciate it if you just, you know, gently massage the like button and then flip over the massage table on it. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Number three. They did it. They did it. I asked for this so long ago in a video. I said there should be a take all button off the spinning wheels. You should be able to take everything out of the spinning wheels, unload it real quick, and then load it back up again with whatever you need. So they added a take all button. It allows you to just grab everything off the completed spinning wheel so that you don't have to go in there and individually grab it each time. And if you were playing on console, this is a huge quality of life improvement because you no longer have to scroll all the way across the menu to unload. You can just take all and then reload it with whatever you have in your inventory. Saves you a little bit of time and a little bit of time with each spinning wheel turns into a lot of time at the end of the day. So this is a huge quality of life improvement and I think it's great. Number two. There are new build options. You now will have access to curved walls, but in order to get access to these, you're first gonna have to visit Burgle and purchase them with raw science. Once you're able to do that, if you don't have those recipes unlocked in the Burgle swap shop, that means you need to go get the Jungle Temple Burgle chip from the hedge. I have a tutorial video for that. Links for the tutorial video of the hedge lab is down in the description below, so that might help you out. And once you're able to get that, you will have access to a bunch of new curved floors and a bunch of new curved walls and even some curved railings. So you can make cylindrical buildings or cylindrical towers like sort of what I built right here. Now in this little video footage, you might be noticing something else there, another new build feature. Now I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. Before I do, I just wanna remind everybody that if you enjoy the videos here on Tiny Power Gaming and you wanna be notified whenever I upload anything new, here on Tiny Pirate Gaming. Well then I hope this video earned your subscription today. And if it did, don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll always be notified whenever I upload a new video here on Tiny Pirate Gaming. And if you're working out with me live, 
I live stream over on Twitch. That's where I play Grounded live and I can explain more. And if you have any questions, you can drop in, you can ask me. I'm more than happy to answer anything and help out in any way I can. So if you ever want to come drop in on a live stream, I live stream over on Twitch. You can smash my follow button over there and you'll be notified whenever I go live. Or you can also follow me on Twitter. That's when I announce where I'm going live. And if you really, really, truly want to become part of the hashtag Tiny Crew, well, then you can join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord. Links for all of those things are down in the description below. So go check them out. Number one. For those of you who didn't get a chance to see my seven content suggestions for Grounded, well, ladders was one of them. And the way that I described the ladder, I even drew some concept art for it, was exactly how they've implemented the ladder here, where you can stack them on top of each other. And now you can use them as an alternate way to go up and down things. Although... The ladder's really only good for about three floors because you can't haul stems while climbing the ladder, so you would have to build some way, some scaffolding to build the actual really tall ladders unless you're doing it in creative mode. Then you can build a ladder as tall as you want all the way up into the sky. You build a super tall tower. But that being said, the main reason I wanted the ladder was so that you could climb in and out of the water. And with update 9.0, they've really limited how much they will allow you to stretch the building mechanics. So you won't be able to really build underwater anything. So building underwater has become a relic build. And I mean, just the little floors that would sometimes be submerged under the water. I thought it created a really cool effect, but now you can't do that anymore. And you can't even put this ladder just a little bit into the water. Like I just wanted to poke a little bit beneath the surface so that you could build, you know, docks or piers into the water that would allow you to climb in and out a lot easier because the jump mechanic for getting in and out of the water, it's just a little bit sloppy right now. Uh, and I think this ladder is the way to go to fix it or staircases that can go into the water so that just makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the water. And I know I'm not alone in the grounded community in saying that the jump mechanic for getting in and out of the water is very sloppy. I've heard it from other streamers. I've heard it from other content creators. I've heard it from other players. So I, I know that an alternate way of getting in and out of the water would be great and allowing us to dip this ladder just slightly into the water would make it aesthetically pleasing and also make it functional for what players really want the ladder to be able to do. At least what I want the ladder to be able to do anyway. But before I end the video here, uh, you know, always like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, follow me on my other social media platforms, Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Uh, all that being said, there's some, some other issues that I just want to go over. Some of them aren't issues, some of them are issues, but these are things that I noticed that I have a feeling the community is going to be buzzing about uh, throughout the duration of update 9.0. And let's get into those right now. All right, so first I just want to say, I want to start off on a good note, and that is the anthill lag that used to be persistent within Grounded appears to have been dealt with. I don't experience the anthill lag, at least I didn't when I was running these tests, We'll see if, as the population of ants increases, if more ants start showing up. But another thing I can mention here is your traps will take damage now. If the bugs interact with your traps, they will take damage, so they will start to break. So that's something to keep in mind. And if your bug traps break from a bug, you will lose all the resources from them. You won't have anything left to pick up. It'll just completely disappear. So keep that in mind. Another thing I found out, and I actually posted this on Twitter because I... I know a lot of builders in Grounded. I myself am a builder in Grounded. I imagine most of the community that plays Grounded is very interested in it because of the build mechanics. This was a build mechanic change that sort of reverted clay foundations. Clay and pebble foundations used to have an issue where they wouldn't clip together properly. Then they fixed that issue by allowing us to clip them together ridiculously easy so that we could build these cool archways. And a lot of people really liked that. I, for one, thought that was a really cool build mechanic. The only problem with it was there was no textured rendering on the bottom of these foundational pieces now obviously they're foundational pieces so I, I guess they're not supposed to be suspended up in the air and they took that away now you cannot suspend them in the air anymore even if they are anchored to a side part they have to have foundationing beneath them I did however learn that if you have a floor built atop of a wall you can still place these things but it's not like it's gonna let you clip it's just allowing it to stick to the top of the wall so i guess you can still sort of make these things roofs uh, but only in very small tightly compacted buildings with lots of walls 
because that's the, they're, they're, they look like they're sitting on the floor, but they're actually sitting on the top part of the wall beneath the floor in the shots you are seeing now. The final thing that I want to go over is the user interface menu for the craft tab in the, the options menu. When you load up your, your inventory menu, the craft tab, if you go into that, at least on console, it's supposed to have new subcategories and everything, so it's supposed to be more organized. The only problem when I went in there and looked at it is that the left and right triggers, for whatever reason, only let me scroll all the way to the right. Like, only the right trigger is working for that tab menu, and it won't let me scroll left again. So, uh, that's just a, a user interface change that has a little bug going on with it. I'm sure that... Hopefully, at least this bug will be ironed out by the time update 9.0 is fully released. But those are just a few other things that I noticed. They're not really big changes, but they're changes you might experience in Grounded. Uh, additional changes. So I hope you find them useful. And if you did enjoy the video, you could do me a huge favor and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more Grounded-related, Grounded-themed content, of course... I hope this video earned your subscription today. And if everyone's coming out with me live, I live stream over on Twitch. So maybe I'll see you there sometime. Smash my follow button over there and you'll always be notified so you never miss me when I go live. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time. Arm, matey. Watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.